Hey kids, Ms. Lavar here. So we are uh, working on our last um, telling time lesson uh, for our unit. So way to go. You guys are awesome. Um, thanks for sticking with it. Uh, we are moving on uh, just to a little bit of an enrichment of going to the nearest minute. Okay. All right. So um, here we go. I can tell and write time to the nearest minute. Um, here's our EQs. How do you tell time to the nearest minute? What do you, how do you write time and what's the difference between a.m. and p.m.? Um, so, you're rocking it to the five minute mark, um, but we want to go beyond the five minute mark, okay? We want to keep going and going to the minute. Now, all these little tick marks around here are the minutes, okay? We've just focused on counting by fives to figure out um, what is um, the time, the closest to the five minute mark. So, um, I'm going to move us beyond that and go to the minute mark. Here we go. All right, guys, so um, when we're looking at this time, so if we can count by fives into the number, and then we're going to count by ones to get to what minute it is. So remember, when we're telling time, we know our hour hand is first. So this one, not quite hitting that two yet, so it is still in the one o'clock hour. So one o'clock, one, and then let's figure out our minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then right here, we're going to start counting by ones. Okay, 50, 51, 52. So it is 152. Oh, my face is in the way. 152. All right, let's try another one, guys. All right, so what time is it? So remember, we're looking at the hour hand first. The hour hand's pointing at the six. So six, and then we want to figure out what, what um, the minutes are. So we're just going to count those tick marks. One, two, three. So it's six. 6.03. Next. All right, I want you guys to try this one. So look at your hour hand first and then count by five to figure out what that 11 is and then count by ones to get the next one. So I'm going to give you a second. All right, you can pause that video if you need extra time, but I'm going to kind of walk you through it. So at the hour hand's pointing at six. And then we want to get to our minutes. Here we go. And I'm going to start here at six because I know that's 30. Um, if you need to start here at 5, that's totally fine too. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56. Great job. Remember, at those little marks here, we are counting by 1. All right, 5, 56. My bad. I think I told you it was 6 o'clock. It is not in the 6 o'clock hour yet. See, it is almost there. It is only 4 minutes away um, from turning into six o'clock. So that's why it's so very close there. All right, let's take a look at another one. I want you to try this one on your own. Go ahead and shout out the answer when you know what time is on that clock. All right, pause that video if you need extra time to count. Um, our hour hand is pointing at in between the 11 and 12, so it's still in the 11 o'clock hour. It has not hit 12 yet. 11, then let's count by five. Five, 10, 15, and we're not here at 20 yet. So 15, and then we're gonna count by one. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it's 11, 19. Look at that. You did it right. Give yourself a thumbs up. Nice job. Let's look at another one. What time is it on the clock this time? All right, I'm gonna explain that. Here we go. We are at the hour hand, and it is in between seven and eight, so it's not eight o'clock hour yet. It is still seven o'clock, seven o'clock, and then counting by um, five, starting at the thirty mark. I'm going to count on thirty-five, forty, and I'm not here yet. So forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. So it is seven forty-three. Seven forty-three. All right, what time is it on the clock now? All right, great guys. So um, if you said it was 5.03, you were correct. So when we're looking at this time, it is pointing right at the five. It just turned to the five o'clock hour here and it is 5.03123. All right, let's look at another one, boys and girls. Try this one. All 
And remember, you can always pause that video if you need extra time to count. We're at three here because it's in between, not hitting that four yet. So it's three o'clock. Let's count our minutes. Five, 10, 15, and one more would make 16. So it's three, 16. If it helps you guys, you can write the time down on like a whiteboard or a, a piece of paper. If you'd like to do that instead of shouting it out. All right, let's try another one here. And be careful on the hour on this one. All right, guys, pause that video if you need extra time. It is not 9 o'clock yet. It is close, about nine minutes away from being 9 o'clock. So the hour is still 8, so 8 o'clock, and then let's count by 5, uh, five starting at the 30 mark. 5, 35, 40, 45, 50, and one more makes 51, 851. Another one coming at you. If you need extra time, go ahead and take it. And remember, you can shout out the answer or write it down. So we are at 2 o'clock in the hour, and our minutes, 5, 10, 15, and 16, 17. So it's 2, 17. You're amazing. All right, guys, so that was just an enrichment lesson on telling time to the nearest minute. If you want to look into that a little bit more or keep practicing at home uh, throughout the day, try to tell time using your analog clock and making uh, as it's hitting those minute marks instead of just the five minute mark. Um, you guys are doing amazing. Good job on telling time this week. You're amazing. You rock. <laughs> All right, let me go to our challenge for today is go to Google Classroom. Go to week of 4-27 to 5-1. Um, today's 5-1 challenges, and then you can complete the telling time quiz. So this is going to cover everything we've done in the last couple weeks. So um, you guys are amazing. I can't wait to see all you show me that you've learned. All right, guys, we'll see you uh, next week. Bye, guys.